Salutations and greetings, it's I, Nip Kugara from Genesis Minecraft Server. Today I'll be giving you a tutorial on region claim, along with the plot for Creative World. Now, look at this amazing villager farm that my friend has set up. It would be a shame if anybody were to grief it, which we do not want to have happen. So, what you can do is to prevent that is go to one corner of it and do sus claim set position. First, outer bound selected. Now I go to the other, oh, don't fall down. I go to the other corner over here and I do claim set position. Then I do says claim create villagers. Now it's important that this is all lowercase. Let's say I try an uppercase like that. It has to be all, no spaces, only 20 uh, cases and all lowercase. Also, um, no numbers, minuses, or underscores. So, ta-da! I now have this protected. Which means if other players were to come in and try to uh, attack these mobs or something like that. Or if they try place Team T or break the blocks or really do pretty much anything. I'd be able to safely protect all these villagers. Now, there is a downside. You can only protect up to 60 four block area um, that is for free if you head over to our website you can buy higher levels of protection for a very low price and you can get up to 8,000 yes I said that 8,000 blocks that you're able to protect so you could build massive castles and protect them all now heading over to the plot world so that's MVT Plot. I swear I can spell. It's only like 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't need to spell anyways. So, what you do, it's rather self-explanatory. When you first join the world, you're going to end up right here. Now, you're going to end up in survival mode when you join this world. It's uh, something a little bit annoying, but it's unfortunate. It is how it is. So, you can always use slash GMC or slash game mode 1 or, or slash game mode creative. Um, as the little thing says there, uh, right there to be able to do. Now, to be able to set a plot, you do last plot auto. Now, I already have a plot. My plot is this spawn area. Um, so I don't really need to do this, but it'll grab you the first available spot that you need to do. Whenever you have your claim spot, now let's say you went to a different area and you want to head back to your plot while you're already here in the creative world. You can do easily, so that's plots or sus plot home. I cannot do it because I'm in the spawn area, which is my plot. I am very sad. I don't get any plots. I don't get creative mode. I am sad. Oh. Now, if you want to be able to edit some things, you can always do sus plot flag add to be able to edit some of the abilities that your plot has. For example, can mobs spawn in your plot? That's your decision. Now, if you head off into these corners, you can find more information on how to use your plots correctly. You can trust other players, so as plot trust space the player. Um, don't use the plot add, I need to remove that. Uh, use the plot trust player, and this will mean that whenever you are online, that they can make edits, break blocks, all that sort of stuff on your plot, but only while you're online the server. Or you can remove people using sus plot kick, plot deny, and plot remove. Plot deny remove keeps them from even entering your plot. You got that really annoying person that always follows you around. You really want them to go away. Just deny them from even entering your plot. Like be gone. Uh, you can always use sus plot kick and plot remove. Plot remove is the opposite of the plot trust, and plot kick is also the opposite of plot trust. Both of them end up getting the same thing basically done, but just for safety's sake, do both commands if you want to remove somebody that's being troublesome on your plot. Now we're going to head over to the next little corner here. Let's say you want to check out somebody else's super awesome uh, plot, or you just want to travel to your friend's plot very quickly, you can do the command as shown above, slash plot visit player. Please do not at me about my SHs, I have speech problems. Deal with it. Now, you just visited a super awesome plot. 
What are you going to do next? You can rate people's plots. It's as easy as slash plot rate space number. Or you can make comments. You can do slash plot space comment space public owner etc. As in what the comment is visible to and then your comment. Now to show everybody an example let's say I want to do um, a little visit over to my friend. I can do slash plot visit Edward Dark 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 Helm. Ah. You know what? I'm just going to visit somebody else. I'm going to visit Ninja Clone Dad. That's why that wasn't working. There we go. Edward Dark Helm. Because he has a super awesome arena that he has been spending a long time building. So, this looks absolutely freaking amazing. Doesn't it? It has this Christmas theme for December. Looks great. I can do sus plot rate 10 out of 10. I have successfully rated it. Now, I can do sus plot comment. Wow, zers, mate. Wow, zers, mate. Now, you see, that didn't end up working because I want to make that public so that everybody can see that I commented this really stu- Everybody can now see that I wrote this really stupid comment that is probably kind of insulting. Wowzers, mate. Because just look at this architecture. It is pretty wowzers. But yes, in fact, this is actually a sort of not so subtle sneak peek. Our future use of the Gladiator, this arena. This will be used for boss fights, PvP, magic duels, all sorts of different things on the different worlds. All right, and that pretty much wraps up our tutorial for both plots and the region claim. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you soon on Genesis Minecraft.